You're listening to Jimmy Falcon and Grim Lena from the gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling on the Cloverleaf Radio Network. And talk about, of course, my favorite film of yours, Keith, was Adventures in Babysitting. I just watched it the other day, actually. What was it like working in the film and uh, with all the great actors that worked in it with you? Oh, uh, dream come true. I wanted to be in films for, uh, really had a dying wish to be in films since I was about eight. I've been doing TV for, for just a couple of years, and I've auditioned for many. And so Adventures of Babysitting was a very big break, and certainly thank Chris Columbus for having the faith in uh, sticking by and casting me and working with Elizabeth Shue, Anthony Rapp, Maya Bruton, uh, everybody in the film uh, was oh, super awesome. Anthony really Rap. too many to mention, because if I start mentioning everybody, I have to mention everybody who were ev- awesome. Everybody was just exactly as zany as Chris wanted them to be. And I understood the you know, movie later, I, I've had absorbed it, and I've looked at it outside of the Roger Ebert uh, view of, you know, that it's racist or it's, you know, suburbs versus inner city, or it's rich versus poor. No, it's not at that at all. It's perfectly normal, sane kids versus crazy, insane people that just happen to live in the city. They're just nuts. It's screwball comedy and very endearing. And and I think that what people like about it or what I've noticed, we had a great screening here at the New Beverly Cinema in L.A. uh, just last year, um, uh, Adventures of Babysitting with uh, Toy Soldiers. And Adventures in Babysitting really looks like the kids know each other and looks like they really mess with each other and that they really, you know, like or love each other, if you will. Um, and that's we did. You know, we were, all four of us kind of had to stick and we're in the middle of this huge, huge adventure, running around the streets of uh, Toronto and Chicago, hanging off of this and that and, you know, writing. Just, it was, it was crazy. It was a fun adventure. So, um, and, you know, it was hard to have things live up to that, but I'm very grateful for, um, you know, a couple of ones that actually did, you know, whether they had money or not to be made. Um, so even the, some of the smaller pictures, other ones like Toy Soldiers and Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead and Cousins, you know, to me stick out as the same kind of experience I had on Adventures of Babysitting. It just really clicked. Everybody had fun, and we knew uh, we were working on something that we'd like to watch, you know. And, and uh, so it, it is. I, it's what they're watchable for me. I, I don't mind watching. I'm running actors who were like, "Oh, I can't watch my stuff," or, you know, "Oh, yeah." Sometimes it's hard, and you.